Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. I am now getting to the point where in around about one month, my beautiful wife will be hopefully giving birth to our new baby daughter and we're going to be calling her Evie. I announced earlier in the year that my wife was pregnant. She was three months or so at the time. And we're now nearing that period of time where baby almost be here. I've been really enjoying getting to be pregnant with my wife and spend all of the time with her doing all the nice things that couples do in the run up to being pregnant including a four-hour session all about breastfeeding. That was a very interesting day. I've never seen so many breasts in my life, honestly. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a beautiful experience so far. But the reason why I'm saying this is because I will not be posting quite as many videos in a month or two. I'll probably squeeze in three or four more videos before baby's born. But when baby's born, I might end up having two or three weeks off just to spend some really good quality time with baby and, of course, with wife. Without further ado, here is a video all about how you can set up and export your profile for the Go XLR. So this is to be able to make changes to a profile, then save it and then reinstall it. Let's say, for example, if you break your PC, maybe you have a new Windows profile, maybe you want to send your profile to one of your friends, doesn't really matter, you're basically going to be backing up your Go XLR profile. And this video accompanies a number of different videos I've done all about the Go XLR. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video. Let's go. Quick word from Own.TV who are sponsoring this video and are my partners. Own.TV have got a load of amazing overlays that you can use on your stream and they've even got themed overlays now and these are fairly newly released. Best part here is you'll be supporting the channel by using code machine at checkout. That'll also get you 50% off your order. I got the Omega skin back in season one and there's overlays to match this and a number of other different Fortnite things like the Raven. We've even got League of Legends overlays, CSGO overlays, World of Warcraft overlays and Valorant overlays that you can add to your stream. How to set up, change, save, and back up your GoXLR profile. Well, I'm here inside the software here. If you haven't already got the GoXLR software, you will obviously need to download the GoXLR software. And I recommend going to the system function here once you've downloaded it and making sure that you've got the software updated as well. If you click on this, it will basically tell you if your device is up to date. I do recommend keeping the GoXLR software up to date because they do every now and then add new features. For example, how to link your GoXLR to your Stream Deck if you're lucky enough to have both of those things i'll link a video above on how to do that but you may not be able to do that if you've not updated your go xlr another thing you're going to really want to look at right now is these global settings here and this will show you your profiles path this is going to show you where your profiles are saved to and this is going to be really really important so i'm going to click this link here and it'll show me exactly where the path to that is now i can if i want change that path here i can literally select a different path for the profiles to be saved to i'm not going to do that but it's just to make that point that if you want to you can do it here what i'm going to do instead is i'm just going to slide across and select all this i'm going to right click and i'm going to copy that url that's exactly where all the profiles are saved there's some other quite interesting settings here that you may want to look at but not really any of these settings other than this profile path here are too relevant for this particular video the other thing you may want to take note of as well is the microphone profile path let's say you've got multiple microphones that you switch between on your go xlr you may want a profile for two different microphones or more like that well you can do that very very easily and set up multiple different microphone profiles and they will be saved in that profile there. So inside of the GoXLR, these are all the different profiles. And if I want to set up a new GoXLR profile, I simply click the create new user profile. Now I can click this duplicate here, which will copy the active profile that I'm currently in. I'm currently in this default Vaporwave profile, which I've got my mic and all my other settings here set up. If you've got a GoXLR Mini and you're struggling to set the equalizers and the compressors, feel free to try and copy my settings here. I would recommend enabling fine tune when you're trying to do the equalizing for your microphone. Also, compressor can be quite difficult to set as well. But again, I've done different setup videos, so you may want to check those out. But there's my settings for the compressor. So if I want to set up a new go xlr profile i'm going to click the plus icon here and it's going to ask me would you like to create a new profile based on the current or default configuration so the default configuration is the default configuration but i think you can actually change the default configuration as well somehow it doesn't really matter what you do here it just means if you're only making slight tweaks to your profile you might as well use the current settings rather than replicating everything again and then changing those one or two things that you want to change and one reason why you may want to actually do this is let's say for example if you're changing your lighting, but you want to keep the exact same profile, you just want to change the lights. In that case, you would click the plus icon here 
and you will make sure that you do it from the current profile. Now this automatically opens up the URL that we just copied for earlier. But if it doesn't do this, just go into Windows, open up File Explorer here, make sure you've got that there and copy the URL into the search bar here and then it will get you to the exact same location. This is where all of your profiles are saved to. Now I'm just going to give this profile a new name. For example, Goose we will save this and it saves it as a .goxlr file type. You have no choice to change this so it will save that as default and I'm going to click save in that profile. Now if you want to back this up somewhere else, you can always, let's say for example, stick it on your desktop or whatever. I'm just going to leave it in the default folder for now. And now we can see we've got the Goose profile and this is based on all the existing settings, including the lighting, including the routing, including the, the mixer information and the microphone information as well. However, if you just want to set up another microphone profile and keep all the other settings the exact same, you can go into the mic tab here and click the plus icon here and set up different mic profiles. And again, in the system requirements in global settings, you can see where those mic profiles are going to be sent. So if we're going to back up our Go XLR profiles. All we need to do is simply go into that folder that we mentioned earlier and take a copy of these files. I'm going to right click all of them for now. I'm going to click copy. We can just go onto the desktop, right click new folder and go XLR backup. And now when we open up this folder, control V will paste all those profiles. I now have a backup of every single profile. Now, one thing that I will note here, if you make a slight change to your profile, make sure you hit save. It won't auto save any changes to a particular profile. So let's say you wanted to change the color of the GoXLR now in the lighting settings here. You let's say you wanted to change it to, I don't know, just change it to green because everyone loves green. And then now you need to quick save. I'm going to overwrite the goose profile click OK on this. Now I want to go back to the Vaporwave, exactly the same as earlier. I go back to the Goose and, and guess what? It's it, double click, it, it's green because I saved the settings. Don't forget to do that because it's really infuriating when you make all these changes and then it doesn't save. It's very annoying. I've done that a few times. I can always go to the delete the selected profile icon here and click on this to delete a particular profile. Just make sure that you actually select the profile that you want to delete. Now you can see here the tick icon is the profile that's actually active currently on the GoXLR. If I didn't want to delete that one, I would make sure I'm not selecting that one. It's probably quite obvious, but now I'm going to go back to the goose one here. I'm going to click delete. I'm going to click okay on that now when we go into the file explorer for the default location of those go xlr profiles we no longer see the goose profile however we made a backup of that on the desktop so we can just go into the where is it at go xlr back up here and we'll see the goose profile is still there so if i now cut this or copy this and paste it into the default location we should find potentially that the go xlr has got that profile back again or maybe i've just broken go xlr software i don't know let's find out there it is. I can't believe it actually worked. <laughs> so there it is. How you can set up, store, backup, change, do anything that you want with a GoXLR profile, including a few other little tidbits of information that hopefully you found useful. If you want me to do any other GoXLR videos, please let me know in the comments exactly what you want me to do, and I'll do my best to accommodate those videos. I always love video suggestions from viewers. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to stalk me, and I'll see you later.